In order to learn cardiac meds in nursing school, it's important to understand the basics of what they're actually doing. Let's review two basic formulas. Cardiac output is the volume of blood ejected from the heart per minute. And you can get this number by multiplying the heart rate, the number of time the heart pumps per minute, times the stroke volume, the volume of blood ejected in each heartbeat. And in order to get the blood pressure, which is the amount of resistance of blood pumping through the arteries, you multiply the cardiac output times the systemic vascular resistance, which is the resistance the left ventricle must overcome to pump blood to the body. If any of these factors are affected, the other numbers will be affected as well. The purpose of cardiac meds is to optimize cardiac functioning, and this could indicate either lowering or increasing factors in either equation depending on the patient's condition. But the main factors that are influenced are preload, afterload, contractility, and heart rate. Preload is the amount of blood in the ventricles before diastole. Afterload is the resistance the ventricles must overcome to pump blood out. Side note, SVR is the measurement of afterload. Contractility is the strength of each heart contraction. And heart rate can be affected directly via factors like adrenergic receptors or indirectly such as in response to changes in blood pressure. Let me know if you'd like a part two and check out the full study sheets in the nursing school success bundle.